Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Kelvin from blacksuncomics.com and today I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop to add tiers to your Daz Studio renders. Stay tuned. <laughs> First and foremost, let me apologize for the audio. I'm not at home with my regular audio setup, so I'm actually recording this into my cell phone. So please bear with me and let's get into things. So first I'll introduce my character. This is Smith Neurum, and you can find him in action on my webcomic that you can find at blacksuncomics.com. There we go. And I had this particular scene where he was going to be crying. So I needed a way to be able to, to do this and make it look somewhat convincing. Uh, I, I was, contemplating doing it in Daz, but I figured it would be easier for me to do in Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is show you how I created this image here with the tears streaming down his face. So this is what he looked like in Daz Studio. Now the way I did this was uh, Photoshop brushes and more specifically Photoshop brushes from a vendor named Divini. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, Ron's brushes. I know them as Ron's brushes. So I, I am in love with these brush sets. Uh, they come in so handy and make my time producing images a bit more productive because it just speeds the process along up quite a bit. Uh, if I go over to Photoshop here and go to brushes, I'll just show you my brush list. You'll see I have a lot of them. So starting from Ron's Apocalypse all the way to Ron's Waterline. So yes, as you can see, I'm a big fan. They they come in handy. They're they're well well worth the investment. So the brush set that I used for this one is Ron's Condensation. And I'll take off the eyes here. So as you can see, I've already done this, but what I'll do is walk through the steps again to show you the process from beginning to end. So first I hit the letter B to go to brushes. I come over here and then I will select Ron's condensation. I have mine in alphabetical order. Well, actually I think Photoshop will put them all in alphabetical order automatically. So I just choose Ron's condensation. I'm going to append it. And then I got uh, all these. So the reason why I chose Ron's condensation brushes is because I think they're the closest that um, visually they, they mimic tears the, the, the closest. So I think I chose this one here. Maybe this one, 288. So I double click on that. Yeah, this looks like the right one. And then I made sure that my foreground color was white. I'll just create a new layer here and click once. There we go. Now I'm going to transform it because on its own, it doesn't look too convincing. So as I transform it, I think I turned it around like so. And then maybe I, uh, okay, it's gonna be difficult. I'm only using one hand here. Shrunk it down. And then I hit transform and I'm using, I use the warp function in Photoshop to kind of shape it. Let me zoom into this a bit closer. So I'm not gonna do it all over again because I've already done this, but I use the warp function to try and mimic the shape of the eye and get the tear to mimic the shape that you see here. Right. And this was just a process of trial and error and making sure that things looked the way that I wanted to. Okay. I'm not sure if I like this part here, so we'll adjust that a bit more. I'll transform it, go to warp again, and maybe I'll start moving this up a bit to shape that contour. Okay, that's good enough for now. Uh, what I did before, I think I erased some of this slightly so you don't see that line up there. Uh, and then I selected another brush. Maybe this one, I think it was. I believe it was this. Maybe not, we'll see. So I created a new layer. Let's call this one I, watering. And these will be the tears streaming. Tears streaming.
Uh, I don't think that was the one that I chose. Let's try a different one. Maybe this. Yeah, maybe that was the one I chose. I don't remember. But even if I didn't choose that one, this brush still works. Okay, so let's move that over. Yeah, this one kind of works well. And then it's just a matter of using Photoshop to adjust it. Now, I should mention that you don't necessarily have to have Photoshop in order to do the same thing that I'm doing. Uh, as far as I know, GIMP or Affinity Photo can import Photoshop brushes, and you can do the same sort of thing. If I'm incorrect about that, let me know, let me know in the comments, and uh, you know, just let me know in the comments so that everyone is uh, straight on that information. So now I'll come over to Warp again, and I'm just going to bend this to shape the face. Yeah, I'm going to bend this to fit the shape of his face. I want the tears to be streaming down. I'm not too concerned with it looking overly realistic. It just needs to look realistic enough. And maybe I'll duplicate that layer by hitting Control J. Command J if you're on a on a Mac. I'll duplicate it again. There we go. And Control E will just merge those layers together. And I'll do Control J on the watering eye as well. Okay, a bit much, but you you get the idea. So it's not a difficult process provided you have the right tools. So once you have Photoshop or GIMP or Affinity Photo, which a lot of people seem to be using now, and a good brush set, you know, in my case, I'm using Ron's brushes, which are, again, high quality brushes, so I highly recommend them. Uh, I'll leave a link to them in the video description below. So that's what it is. And finally, I ended up with this image here, which I will show you on the website. There we go. And it looked convincing enough. I was happy with the results. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please visit blacksuncomics.com where you can download a free preview of my graphic novel entitled Black Sun The Longest Night. It was illustrated entirely using Daz Studio and Photoshop. Please check out the other tutorial videos on this channel. And until next time, take care. Peace.